Hey everybody, welcome back to part number three of Kinetic's 48th scale EA6B Prowler build. Now last week we did the pods and all the ordnance. This week we're going to work with the main assembly and get my fuselage and the wings put together. Okay, so on to the main fuselage build. So again, a couple of weeks ago, we built this beautiful cockpit tub and now we're going to surround it by the fuselage. So pretty straightforward, um, well, three parts. You've got two sides and you have the center kind of belly panel. And we've got to remember to put these guys on, which are the exhaust, because last time I built this, I forgot. And then um, moving on, we have wing fold option. We're not going to fold the wings. So if you were going to fold the wings, you're going to follow step three. We're going to go on to number four, which is the extended wing version. And then basically the wings get attached to the fuselage. So that's kind of the game plan for today. So going back to this, um, I've started cutting some of these parts off and I did um, take the belly and I've glued the sides on. Not a great fit by any means. There were a lot of um, little ejection pin marks in there. And I did find, I'm going through my tool drawer here. Let's sort of move the camera out of the way. Where is it? Sorry about that. Um, this Tamiya with a carving blade, I think it's a point two. It's not focusing. Um, this would that broke great actually just for getting in there and scraping all the little um, ejection pins which were in here. So again, just take it in, but obviously before I glued them together and just scraped out all the ejection pin marks. Again, this is, this is a Tamiya, um, very good quality tool. Sides, we've cut off and cleaned and um, you see I sprayed around black around the edge and just do a quick reference check to see if they were black around the frame, um, gray on the inside to match the carpet tub. And um, I did glue this part in already. I think the game plan with this, I think I'm going to glue this in to onto one side. And once that's dry, then bring up the other side to match it is my game plan at least. So um, also we'll talk about the intake. I think we need to be smart here about how we're going to paint this because we've got metal fan blade, which basically, excuse my finger, fingers, I'm painting, weathering. Um, so we've got basically a metal fan blade that sits behind and this should all be white. So what I'm thinking is we paint that first, paint this first with metallic color, um, mask it, and paint the sides white, bring it together, and then um, there'll be a bit of a seam line maybe to take care of, and once that's done, maybe take tweezers and pull the mask tape out, and then this part will then go on over the edge um, separately. So yeah, so I'm gonna paint these metallic first, and we'll go from there. So that's kind of the game plan for, to get this thing put together. So I'm going to get to work off camera and be right back. Good morning. A nice sunny morning. You the birds chirping outside and happy with this guy. So glued it up last night or yesterday afternoon, left it overnight. And um, I've come out this morning and we're looking good. So I clamped it in various places. Here is a tricky one, the glue. Um, I'd best use a clamp. One of these, a very precariously place it so it didn't ping off in my face um, but that worked a treat front end not worried so much about gluing this because we're going to put the nose on that's going to hold it all together but the main thing having built one of these before is make sure that cockpit is lined up um, maybe a little, a little bit loose of the glue so you can line that thing up before you get the um, yeah before you commit to anything because you don't want seats all crooked before I had like crooked seats and didn't look so great um, a little bit of a gap there um, we can maybe I think I can just twist it a little bit here and just manipulate it into place. There we go. But um, yeah, there we go. Looking good. Now I glued it all and obviously, and then I came back with my sprue glue, which is my talked about part number one, which is basically extra thin Tamiya cement with plastic hard melted in. So it adds a little bit of extra strength. So I went down the whole seam line here, as you can see, and the bottom as well. Put tons on, to be honest with you, which I can sand back just to make sure this thing you know, stays together. This does have a habit to, you know, any pressure, this thing kind of ping open. So it's really good to get a nice strong um, glue bond along here. Um, 
And there we go, we're in the main fuselage. Again, it's been overnight, so it should all be dry now, ready to be sounded back. And um, I just want to make fettle this a little bit more. It's a bit low, I think. This sits a little low. I just want to get this cockpit top um, in better position. Um, so that being said, a couple of other things I'm going to take care of. Um, well, I've got the nose cut off. I'm also just going to glue on the end. So I want to add a nose weight first, and I'm probably going to add like, I don't know, like an ounce, because it's quite a big aircraft. Um, trying to figure out which way this goes. It goes that way around. There we go. So yeah, it's really about taking your time with this, um, going through and just um, these kind of parts at the front again, just make sure you're lined up like this part, just you know, placing it in, make sure it fits. And the windscreen, I think it's another one, just make sure, you know, once it's together, it fits okay. Because it's hard to like go back and, you know, sand and um, rescribe and fix all that kind of stuff. All right, so put that to the side. I'll update on the intakes. As you can see, I painted the blades steel color, which is my go-to Super Iron 2, which is 203. There we go. And um, what I've done on top of that is I've just taken my masking paint mask. So I, over dinner last night, I was thinking about this. I was going to mask it up with tape and cut it out and stuff. And I thought, you know what? Let's just use masking fluid. So use masking fluid, put it all over, big thick coat. And the game plan is once it's all painted up, I could just put my tweezers down the intake and pull like this basically latex rubbery mask off. Um, the other parts looking here are painted somewhat. I got the white painted on that guy. Um, just need to mask off and paint the, the gray on the edges and the grays on this one too. And um, obviously white on the inside here. And then we can start putting these intakes together um and that's really it for now as an update so i can get get these guys painted and put together get this thing fitted fit pretty get this thing nice and fit fit well God, words are hard this morning trying to get this thing put together um, looking good and get the sand it back and it should be pretty easy to rescribe just across these lines here um and there we go so that's what the game plan is i'll get to work and be right back okay so moving along um I sanded the top down and the seam basically with a mixture of sand sanding sticks. I think I started maybe with 220 grit and ended up with a sponge, 600 sponge, 600 grit um, to get rid of the scratches and blended in. And I had a little bit of paint left. And as you can see there, it's seamless on top, which is awesome. And um, underneath, um, I don't know, still got to see, but I think I feel pretty good about this. And you see, I put the nose on, just threw in there a one ounce fishing weight and um, let me see if I can find it real quick as I go through my drawers. Should have been prepared. Um, I just got to warm up and pick up fishing weights for like a dollar for a bag. Um, sinking various weights for something this big. Like I said, put one ounce in. Um, for 48 scale jets, I only put half an ounce in, depending on what it is. But one ounce, just to make sure. Because again, this is a pretty um, big guy. So. Put it in the nose um, and just, as I always do, this clear Gorilla Glue I really like. It takes a couple of hours to kind of really get tacky and go off, but just um, it doesn't affect the plastic like super glue or anything like that. So a little drop, um, threw the weight in. Once it's dried, just glue the nose on again with the white cement, not extra thin, just around the inside, let it stick on. Touch of super glue, put the, um, the cover there for the, the glare shield, whatever you want to call it, um, shroud, I guess. Uh, make sure it's lined up straight and top a couple, couple drops of super glue and just kind of put it in there. Now this, this cockpit is still a little bit, um, you see it flexible, which is kind of good because I want to maybe manipulate it. But I did check again each step and it does look like the um, this is going to fit no problem at all, the windscreen. Sorry, I'm kind of really close to the camera and out focus there. So I think we won't have a problem putting that on over the top once I get my um, mask done. So that's where we have the main fuselage. Um, as you can see, I did gl glue in each side the exhaust, and um, they're looking pretty good. Last time again, keep mentioning this, I forgot those, so this time I did make sure. So that's where the main fuselage is. Wings are done too. Now a few little minor niggles with these. Now I obviously doing wings up, so it makes things a little bit easier. There's no cutting or anything like that. Um, now the problem is, 
on so I did the speed brakes up like closed not opened now because open they're just a bunch of flash and they weren't that great I mean it's hard to get it kind of clean so and the problem is these kind of um, actuators or whatever they are um, arms here that hold them and and um, they're not kind of don't fit very well so I have to couple the pegs off and kind of push it down to kind of get them to stick and um, as you can see there I did paint um, firstly some black primer and then again the steel color around the inside here of that exhaust just to help with painting um, later on you can just mask it up um, so paint it steel and the key with this one is I think to get it to fit over which it does you got to come in at a straight 45 degree angle put it in straight if you try to do it angle like this you're going to foul against this one but if you kind of line up like this and push I think you're going to be good to go and you know what we can just do it here on camera so again with the cement not the extra thin so I want the thick stuff just going to go around all the edges make sure it's fully covered do, do, do. and then offer up the wing to the fuselage again back right here line it up and then push it in straight you hear a click and there we go and it's actually looking pretty good so i'm just gonna we are gonna have a little bit of seam line there which is no problem at all on the other side here i just want to make sure this joins a fuselage so i am going to come back with some extra thin here run it down and i'll just need to hold it in place until it dries um, but if you look down there the exhaust you can see you got perfect line now to where it goes from steel to the white um, because we painted it beforehand which makes it a lot easier for us um, let me see if i have a clamp real quick so uh, you know i'll just hold it so there we go that's you get an idea of the size too now and um i'm just going to hold it close as i can and we'll just run some filler down there in a little while once this is dried but yeah looking good so that's kind of where we're at while well, latent's dry i guess my other top well my other kind of little update is the intakes um okay looking but as you can see or maybe not see on the camera the masking fluid you see the bottom there it it kind of went up the side a little bit so it needs to touch up that one this one's not quite so bad again at the bottom where the um the, the silver fan blade is you can see there's um where it peeled away the white on the sidewall so they just need fixing um a little bit too Let's see how we're looking here all right so i'm just going to basically hold this in place for a few minutes for the glue dries and then i'm going to put the other wing on exactly the same way okay so we're looking good here assembly you know get, moving along nicely now down these seam lines i did use this guy so i'm still trying out this display white i think i mentioned earlier on i wasn't a big fan of it but i think for a long seam like this it might work better it's kind of very runny so ran it down there um it's still probably a little tacky it does take a few hours to dry now i will point out my top tip for this is with this assembly take your time and just spread it out over a few days so each of the clips here you're seeing is probably a day apart so you know like although it's first thing this morning glue the wings on and just leave it let it dry come back so yeah so just take a few days and just one step at a time slowly but surely put this thing together and you shouldn't have so many problems here um and we're looking pretty good so i've put the intakes on um and the wings are on obviously intakes you see we've got a bit of a seam line here we have a bigger seam line this side um it needs taken care of um and i would say also in hindsight probably want to leave the nose off until you got the wings on because when you put the wings on it's flexing slightly and slightly moving the cockpit tub so if you leave that nose off you can just get in there still with your fingers and, and tweak it you know little steps if you need to um i think we're gonna be okay on this um it looks pretty straight and it got the gap kind of removed somewhat um but yeah leave that off until you got the wings on and glued and then put it on at the end i think would be the best way to do it but overall yeah looking good on top no seam line um this needs a little bit of a rub down 
once you know, again tomorrow once it's dried a little bit longer um, bottom here glued on pretty good there and um, yeah just read these two seams take care of and um, good to go so looking nice I'm glad I got the wings out as always I think it just looks nicer um, aircraft and um, also got the stabilizers made up too pretty simple just two parts glued together and um, a little bit loose so I think they'll be glued in place when the time comes um, but yeah there we go so basically gonna leave this overnight um, actually well take a step back I'm gonna fill these two two seam lines leave it overnight and then come back tomorrow and um, sand this down and then um, yeah we've almost done with the main assembly pretty much okay so finally the masks have arrived another week's passed and it's been a couple of weeks now so show you so these were the um the masks i had before which didn't fit and you can see it's done on that same paper as i use um for my own mask on the cricket machine euro mask 810 and um you know when i do it myself it's fine um you know if you cut masks it's you know it's no problem at all the stuff's great but the problem is you know if you leave it in stock like in a store for like months on end i think after about six to nine months of shelf life um it starts to shrink a little bit as you can see there so they don't fit so well-known problem with flying 11x and um he should have recalled the um, products. I think he mentioned he, he tried to, or whatever reason, but Sprue Brothers still sent me um, this. So anyway, so got the new one, just arrived in the mail earlier today. And as you can see, it's on like kabooey tape, but it's kind of weird. Um, now, don't get me wrong, it fit perfectly, as you'll see in a minute. It's just um, interesting. Um, there's not much, it's, it's not quite an Edward mask you can kind of put on and take off and move around. Um, these don't have much wiggle room with them. Um, can't really stretch them so much but they, they went on no problem at all i'm hoping again it's quite thick i'm hoping they don't leave any residue behind but i guess we'll find out shortly so masks are on as you can see i peeled them off and if i bring the aircraft in this is how we're looking so masked up and basically um put the front on and it's all glued in and put the two halves on and i did run a bead of tamiya cement now this is the um the thicker stuff not extra thin you know it's a gloopy resin glue so i ran a bead of that um pushed them together then also i welded it with some plastic magic now the reason i use plastic magic is on my marauder i'm building at the same time there's a ton of glass work on the marauder as well and i used um, plastic magic um on the glass work and fingers crossed i'm peeling the mask off yet but it seemed like it was okay didn't fog the fog it so again just a tiny little bit just just run down the seam in the center just keep it kind of um you know strengthen it and as best i can so it's um we'll see how it goes so i've glued it in place i'm going to leave it overnight um come back and they're not glued on they're just you know loose they're just glued together the halves um take them off and then we can spray the inside with the the golden kind of um radar the radar or anti-radar um coating is what i'm looking for now i'm gonna do the exact same as i did with my f22 because it kind of worked good so i'm actually going to spray it um light mist of alclad clear yellow with a drop of gold in it a very small drop so i'll show you that when it comes to it now i did maybe make a faux pas because you can't see now because the mask so it would have been nice actually to spray it before i masked it maybe um well the six one half doesn't doesn't the other right if i did that i could see through the other side see how it's looking the tint wise whereas um although if it did that it'd be harder to glue together but now you know it's glued into one piece um it might be easier to spray i don't know um, but anyway, yeah, the key with that is go nice and gently and not overspray it. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm just going to leave these really glued to really go off overnight. Um, it's kind of in the evening now. Come back tomorrow and we'll get that, um, that, that goldy yellow kind of spray down. Okay, so it's been a few hours. These guys are totally glued now and pretty strong, but any kind of pressure inwards, these are obviously going to snap in half. So I've got to be careful. Um, so using the aircraft here as a mold to make sure they're all lined up. Again, it'd be nice little one piece, but okay, it is what it is. And um, as you see there, no issues with fogging or anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the inside with a um, with that kind of goldy yellow color. And what I'm going to use is basically Alclad transparent yellow and add a drop of gold. Now, I don't have any lacquer paint. Um, this is like a lacquer, um, obviously lacquer. Um, I have I just have acrylic gold which I recently picked up and I'm going to add a small amount of this very small amount as you'll see um, but I did the same thing with the F-22 and those people say oh you can't mix like you can't spray acrylics on top of lacquers and blah 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 that's BS you'll see right now we'll mix this together and it'll be fine 
Um, so I'm actually going to pull this out of the way so I don't spill stuff all over it. Um, and I'm just going to pull some of the yellow in here. And you can see that's the color ready, which is pretty good. But just get that tiny little tint of gold. And barely anything. So I'm just going to get a um, toothpick here and just like that much. See, barely anything. That's the paint. Just kind of seeing how it looks now against the side. Okay, so this one is actually a little bit, the flakes are a little bit bigger than the gold I used before. Um, let me just do a test spray. And what I'll do is I'll just take one of these little plastic cups here and spray the outside and um, just give it a fresh spray on the canopy just to see how it looks. Because um, that case, I'm not going to ruin the canopy, right? So let me, we're right back in two minutes. Let me quickly spray this. All right, so I gave it a little spray, and you can see actually perfect, um, perfect color, I think. Um, so again, just misting very lightly. Um, don't best do it light coats. Don't overdo this, otherwise you can't see for it at all. Um, but I guess you can always have the canopy up. So there we go. Just quick misting on this plastic cup to get the idea. So I'm now going to take these guys um, and spray the inside with the, this color. Um, a very nice misting um, thin coat. Okay, so gave it a quick spray. And um, again, excuse my dirty fingers. I just painted them Marauder earlier today and spilled a um, tub of XF 54 all over my hand. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel this back this and just take a look. And you can kind of see, well, maybe not so much in this light, but if I put it on the aircraft, you can, hopefully you can see it in that light. See? Perfect. I don't want to go too much more on this. Um, I made a mistake on the uh, F-22 of maybe putting too much on. So I think this is good. Um, again, with the masking on, you can't really see it. But, you know, you have to mask it obviously before you put put it together. So see there in the light, a little gold reflection. So happy with that. So I'm going to put this masking tape back on. Take a quick peek on this one too. Again, a pair of tweezers carefully lift off the um, mask. And you can kind of see there again. If I place it on the aircraft, you can see there that goldy tint, and you can still see through it. So for me, I think it's good. We won't know. It seems pretty evenly covered too, um, so we won't know for sure until we take all the masks off at the end. But I'm happy with that. I'm not going to go put another coat on or make it thicker. Um, I guess we can always add it another date. But so far, yeah, it looks good. So just a couple of like light misting passes make on the airbrush, make sure I covered everything, and um, you can kind of see there the color on the inside too. So that's my tip. That's how you get the anti-radar reflective kind of um, finish. Simply gold. I mean, whatever gold you have, ideally, probably lacquer might be better. But again, I can mix a tiny little bit with this and it doesn't um, really affect, you know, lacquer with the acrylics. It doesn't curdle anything and it sprays fine. Um, so there we go. That's it. So that's my tip. So I'm going to go ahead and let these dry and be right back. Okay, so final thing for today, Gabe. All the canopy, a quick spray of the interior color, which is XF54 Tamiya, just because that's what you can see from the inside when the canopy's up um, through the clear part. Um, so that, I always sometimes forget that. So put that on right now before I forget, and um, we're pretty much assembled as far as you want to go right now um, before we get this thing in the paint. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to wrap the video up. Thank you for watching. As always, appreciate your support. If you haven't done so, already, done so already, please hit the subscribe button. And next week, we'll be back painting this guy. So yeah, have a good one. Catch you next week. Goodbye.